Prohibition in the United States was a measure designed to reduce drinking by eliminating the business that manufactured, dis distributed, and sold alcoholic beverages. The 18th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution took away license to do business from the brewers, distillers, vintners, and wholesale and retail sellers of alcoholic beverages. People thought that prohibition would work and solve problems because uh, people saw that a lot of people were buying a lot of alcohol and drinking a lot of alcohol. So they wanted to um, make this new rule of prohibition so people uh, would stop drinking alcohol. But then after prohibition was like during the days, there was more crime. The temperance movement basically uh, tried to reduce drinking in the United States and uh, they wanted people to support it because a lot of people were getting drunk because they were drinking a lot of alcohol. And so they wanted to um, lower that so people won't get drunk. And so basically, like in my last question, like I said, prohibition basically made uh, greater more crime and violence. I find their arguments convincing because like, People try to support it so people won't get drunk and less drinking. So, but the government poisoned the alcohol, alcohol, so people start drinking alcohol. But thousands of people died because of that poison, and yet it created more violence and crime. And thousands of people died because of the poison. They single out immigrants like that because. They uh they stop killing with knife with knives and hot guns with iron.